What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and welcome back to the channel. Today we got a couple of news topics to talk about and we'll get into that in just a second. I did want to say happy 4th of July if you guys are celebrating, if you guys aren't, happy Thursday. Either way, be careful, don't drink and drive, don't blow your hand off, be aware of your surroundings because other people will not. I know here in Los Angeles it, it already does sound like a war zone with all the fireworks so just be careful and let's play some video games today let's go ahead and talk about the PlayStation Plus instant game collection for August oh, well July and August because we did see a switcheroo happen there was a switch with the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection and literally a day after the uh, Switch happened and the games got released, uh, Konami actually came out to say that they're actually switching things up. I guess uh, there something was going on with Liverpool and they switched over to Manchester United. If you guys know soccer, please let me know in those comments down below. But apparently there was a lot of, uh, you know, outrage and a lot of people very upset with this. And a lot of people are speculating that that's why the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection was changed. Now, a lot of people will say, no, it's because fans were mad, fans were outraged, and that's what it is. And well, the PlayStation Nation definitely did make their voices heard because this was going to be arguably one of the worst instant game collections at least for North America. There were so many people hating on the PlayStation Plus instant game collection and reaching out and spreading the word and sharing their thoughts and opinions that you know a lot of people thought hey you know what we spoke out loud enough we got our voices heard and we won and i kind of felt that way too but given the news that uh you know pro evolution soccer made a statement uh well konami made a statement um right after the instant game collection got changed leads a lot of people to believe there was something else going on in the mix what do you guys think let me know in those comments down below now in regards to August, because I did mention August, uh, there is speculation that uh, Detroit Become Human should have been August's instant game, uh, you know, collection. With that being said, we do know that the PlayStation Plus Instant Game Collection, um, you know, the developers have to sign contracts. I remember with Secret Ponchos back in the day, I got, you know, leaked information about Secret Ponchos and, you know, come to find out that uh, all of these uh, developers, whether they're big, you know, AAA companies or small indie companies, they all have to sign agreements, they all have to sign contracts, and this happens months in advance. So far in advance that you know a switch like this or you know a pro like pro evolution soccer just getting removed from the playstation plus instant game collection had to have had something big because there is also money involved if you guys think about it there's money involved it, you know we get these games as part of a service that we pay for a subscription for but at the same time sony does pay the developers for um, for for the games that are offered up for the PlayStation Plus. Um, and this is very interesting because a lot of people don't quite understand that. Um, but, you know, if a game is on, like, the de decline and it's not doing very well in sales, um, it might be better for them to be putting it on the PlayStation Plus instant game collection and get, like, a dollar or maybe, you know, high-end $2.00 per add to the library. Um, but nevertheless, um, like I said, this is very interesting news. What do you guys think about PlayStation Plus and Switch? Do you guys think the gamers won? Or do you guys think that something else is going on with uh, Konami and Pro Evolution Soccer and all of that stuff? Uh, but we do know that Detroit Become Human was going to be part of the PlayStation Plus since the game collection eventually. Next up in the news, we got Fortnite, who has a special event in the game. And this was actually found by a lot of different uh, users just playing the game. And when you, you actually get into the game, a portal appears, and you can actually teleport to different locations. So if you guys are jumping on Fortnite, and you guys have some epic clips, send them my way on Twitter or Instagram. I'd love to see them. 
Quick news update for Modern Warfare. It looks like they're going to be adding reloads to aim down sight. So, you know, when you're aiming down sight, you can actually reload while you're still aiming down sight. Uh, it looks like that's a new feature that Infinity Ward is going to be putting in the game. What do you guys think about that? Let me know in those comments. There's a ton of rumor and speculation about the PlayStation 5 release date being in 2020. A lot of fans agree that the release date could be in 2020. But with new information about Sony and PlayStation's physical year ending in April 2020, that leads a lot of fans to believe, okay, we're definitely not going to see a release date in 2019 at all, or even early 2020. Um, you, you know, my mark is uh, the release date being happening uh, during the holiday season of 2020. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Alright guys, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. If any other news breaks, I will definitely let you guys know. But because it's 4th of July and in North America it's like a big thing. In fact, a lot of people actually requested Friday off so that they could have a four day weekend. I'm kind of jelly, but at the same time I love what I do and I look forward to waking up every day and entertaining you guys and recording the latest and greatest in gaming. Um, as for myself, uh, today I'm actually planning on just doing a barbecue with the fam, bam, and then we're going to be playing some video games and watching Stranger Things that just got released last night. I was so tempted to watch it, but then um, I, was, I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to stay up until like freaking the sun comes out, but I ended up staying up till the sun came out. Any well, um, a little close to about five o'clock, uh, but anyways, what are you guys going to be doing this weekend? What are you guys going to be doing today as far as like video games and or, you know, TV shows or movies? Do you guys have any recommendations for Netflix or Hulu or whatever? Uh, let me know in those comments as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit a like and if you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on and I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.